we're gonna be rating all of the beautiful girls that have tattoos in Nikes, going from Ink Queen all the way down to doesn't match the wife. Now, the first one we have to add into clutter because you guys are saying it's too cluttered. Even though you have no fucking idea what you're saying, it's your burger. This would be actually Ink Queen, but you guys have shit taste, which is fine. It's fine, you know. We will leave it there. We will leave it there. But your burger will stay there on two platter, okay? I think it's Ink Queen, but in my opinion, you know, you guys have bad taste, which is fine. We have here the list of every single character that has tattoos in Nike. Uh, I hope we didn't miss any. And we're gonna be going one by one, all right? One by one. And seeing who has the best tattoos. Starting with my ex-wife, Pro. Now she has a couple of tattoos, she has a couple of tattoos. She has the missiles industry in here. She has whatever this is on the side, a basic school with the with the wings on the other side. And then I believe she also has one exactly on her back. I think this is, this is bad, this is bad. This is like the 2000 tattoos that you, your father would get, right? This is not something you would get nowadays. This is not something you would get. For tattoo of missiles, I, I am not cultured enough. Right? I'm not cultured enough. So, I think my ex-wife, where would I put her? Because her design overall fits pretty well. But the thing is, where do we want to put her, right? Basic bitch, what is this? Doesn't matter. Why for two clutter? I think we were we were made for, for each other. Yeah, exactly. Like husband, like husband, like wife. So we're both together in this. We're both together on this. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. So Crow, you're going out. Next. She belongs to the streets. No, she doesn't belong to the street, all right? Show some respect for my ex-wife, okay? There we go, there we go. What is Velorta? Because she is the next one. Now, some of you might be thinking, Sefi, that's not a tattoo. That might be a stencil tattoo. That looks bad. I think that's a basic bitch tattoo. She likes eating. And she has a pig with a fork and a knife. I think it's pretty good. I think it's a basic bitch tattoo. Right? Nothing else. Nothing else. It matches her. It matches perfectly with Belorta. There she goes. I would even maybe put her on good taste because it's like a simple tattoo that you just put as 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 a meme, right? And meme tattoos are always fun. Always fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. With this big old list this way. Shut up, okay? Next. On our list. What is my list? What is my list here? Oh, Rosanna. Okay, okay. She has two, actually. She has three. We have the belly tattoo, the arm tattoo, and the other arm tattoo. I think this is a good one. I think this is a good one. The belly tattoo, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Right? Ink Queen. It depends how big they are. It depends how big they are. Because if those both arms are actually full sleeves, I would put her on Ink Queen. If it's only like half a sleeve, it's just good taste. Let's assume it is full sleeves, all right? So we'll put her on Ink Queen for now. I like her, I like her. 100%, 100%. Next, Ether. Ether has a tattoo. Some of you might have not noticed, but she has right here a barcode. I would say the barcode belongs into the what is this because we have questions or basic bitch. I don't like a barcode because over time it's gonna get too too um, distorted. It's not, not gonna look good, right? So I would put her on what is this because we need more context. We need more context. Now, I don't wanna ask her. She looks like a dangerous person, but what is this for Eden? Milk is the next one. I didn't even remember she has a tattoo. <laughs> she has a tattoo? Oh! I think this is a basic bitch tattoo. Guys, guys, this is the most basic bitch tattoo ever on her wrist right here. It's basic bitch. 100%. Good background, but that tattoo is like, eh, you know? Like, who cares? Mm. 
I wanted to get the barcode when I was 18 on my on my head. Thank God I didn't. Thank God I didn't. <laughs> Next, the killer wife. Another barcode. But now it's different. Now it's different. Now we're talking. Because the other barcode, it's on a placement that's ugly. That makes you look like a basic bitch. But look at this one. Look at that barcode. We all could agree that she has good taste. In quick? No, it's not in quick. I think it's good taste only. Because we cannot see how, if this is a full sleeve, it looks like a half a sleeve. Placement plays, uh, has an important part on what ranking you're getting. I, I'm not sure if it's in quick. Guys, we're voting right now based on how she looks overall. She looks good, but we're rating the tattoos themselves, all right? And stop simping. And stop simping, okay? Good taste, good taste. There we go, there we go. Damn, she looks fucking good. Now, next. Naga. Naga. Tattoo on, where? Her lips. We can only appreciate it when we're shooting. You can only see it a little bit in there. In fact, if we wanna appreciate it better, we need to put the background in here, okay? Okay? In here, we can see, right? It's a good placement, but I will say it's good taste only. I don't think she's an ink queen. It's only just one small tattoo that you get as a teenager, right? It's cool, looks good, smash, but, but good taste, good taste. I don't think she is ink queen, right? You cannot be ink queen with a shit tattoo on your, um, on your ribs. We'll put her with the killer wife right there. Right there. Smash? Yes. Breathe. What tattoo does Breed have? I forgot. Oh, okay, okay. We get... Now, what is this? What is this? This is a bad tattoo. This is a bad tattoo. Like, look at that. Only one tattoo is small here. Looks pretty bad. Awful placement to get only one small piece. I would not rate this high. I would not. I would not. Breed. Let me check to make sure there is nothing else. I'm pretty sure there is only that one. Giat. What is this? Yep. Next, Maiden. Now you might be thinking, Maiden does not have tattoos. She does, she does, on her tongue. Can we check it here? Or do we need to actually put her background? Do I have her background? I was paying attention to something else. Is this a tattoo? I think it is, right? I think it is. Where would we put? This is an interesting one. Because it is not only the two, it also glows. It's a pretty cool placement and pretty cool looking. I don't think it's an ink queen, but I would consider putting her on good taste. Because that placement means only one thing. Only one thing. And that is for the commander only to appreciate. Right? We can agree. We can agree on that. So she goes into good taste. Perfect. Perfect. Who's next? Jackal. What tattoo does Jackal has? Oh, the ones on the face? Oh, and the one on the ribs. Okay. We have the one on the ribs and we have the ones on the face. I think they match her. I'm not sure if I like them. I'm not sure if I like them. Because she doesn't have any more tattoos that we can see. It's like only one on the ribs and then the ones on the face. And it's like, mm, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, right? Where would I put her? I think it's a basic bitch. I think it's a basic bitch. It's like trying too hard, trying too hard, you know? She was like, first tattoo on my fucking face. No, doesn't work like that. Doesn't work like that. Now, Leona. Now, with a beautiful shotgun enabler. She has a small tattoo on her wrist with the butterfly. Ink queen? This is, this is not an ink queen. This is a basic bitch tattoo by the book, all right? My friend has his own studio. He gets so many requests to get a small butterfly. It is the most basic bitch tattoo ever. It is. I love her. I love Timmy too, right? But no. This is a classic, a classic case of basic bitch tattoo. Again, looks good, but not enough. Not enough, Lona. Now, Sakura. Sakura has one 
on her back and we need to put the skin i think in order to see it or does it work with this oh no we can see it here now this is a good tattoo i'm assuming it also goes into the arm but we cannot see it either on the skin or on here i'm gonna assume it goes also on the arm i really like this one now is it enough to go into ink queen the problem is we don't know the full size of the tattoo so i would assume until we can confirm if it's big enough it's just good taste because to be an ink queen you need multiple tattoos you cannot be ink queen with only one right come on come on let, let, let's get real here now lastly we get our favorite military girl that deserves an alt character all right Dada. Dada. now her tattoo it's, it's the classic tattoo you would see on your your typical military dude, right? Freedom, America, guns, and a couple tattoos with, with, with a fucking eagle or something. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about how this dude. It's, it's, it's a good size, good placement, but it's basic. Oh, but it goes close to the neck too. Okay, good taste, good taste, good taste. It's big enough, it's good placement, you know. I'm pretty sure it can be in here. Now, if, if I were to be honest, right, your burger deserves to be in good taste. It should be Ink Queen, but, but we will leave it in good taste because you guys have awful, awful, awful taste, right? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, okay? If you compare, if you compare to the other waifus, there's a clear winner. There's a clear winner. Now, for now, the only ink queen will be our beautiful one and only Cruella de Vil, aka Rosana. Now, now leave me leave leave a comment. Leave a comment and tell me who has the best tattoos in the game. I will ban you if your answer is shit. Okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying, that's it. That's gonna be it for this one, right? If you want more tier lists, feel free to come to our live streams. We do it, we do them every single day, right? Have fun, bosses. I love you all. I love you all. Have a great one. And see you next one.